Dear Carrie, I wanted to write you a letter to express my appreciation to you on this very special Mother's Day. My life has not always been normal, and it has presented several challenges and obstacles. I know that you've had your fair share too. Phil was diagnosed with cancer. Um, We'd been dating for two years, and clearly it's a day I'll never forget. The first step after Phil got diagnosed was his doctor talking to us about maybe being parents someday, as if cancer wasn't already enough to add possibly not being able to have kids now on top of that. It was a lot. It was a lot to take. I have always known I've wanted to be a mom since I was a little girl, and somebody would ask what I want to be when I grow up. My answer would be to be a mom. Like me, you longed to be a mom for as long as you could remember. But conceiving children was not a possibility for us. Phil and I were sitting at a Willow service, and they said to put three things that you were hoping to accomplish that year and prioritize them. And then you write it down and you put it on a piece of paper. What is most important in our family? What's the single biggest priority in our lives right now? Our number one was having a baby. And it was scary to write it down, but we knew that that's really what we wanted. The day he was born was the best day of my life. Holding my little baby for the very first time was amazing. And after he was born, about 30 seconds later, I turned to Phil and I said, we have to do this again. This was too perfect. You once shared with me that you felt like you were on cloud nine after your son was born. Meanwhile, we began to yearn for a child of our own. I saw that my sister had shared her friend's Facebook post saying that she was looking for a surrogate. My first reaction was, oh, Sarah, I hope she finds somebody. She'd be such a great mom. Within the same hour that I had seen this Facebook post, my mother-in-law sent a text, and it was a devotional all about, if you can do something to help a friend out, why wouldn't you do that? It was one of those little whispers from God that I still tried to dismiss because being a surrogate was not something that was on my radar whatsoever. God has freely given you favor, blessing upon blessing. But like, what's the point of it? The gift has always been that you would be blessed to be a blessing. That's when I knew for sure that this is something that God was calling me to do. I didn't know how people would react to this since it's not something that you experience every day of the week. There was really no way to hide what I was doing and I was going to have to talk about it. That's a point where I decided that I wasn't going to let fear win, that if this is something that God wanted me to do, no matter what, I was going to do it. Watching Sarah hold her baby for the first time, she was just weeping with joy. I just knew at that moment that it was all worthwhile. Today, my life is no longer about me, and that's exactly what I wanted. Our son Carter is a miracle, proof that through Christ, the impossible can become the possible. I feel like This journey has been something that God has been preparing me for ever since Phil got sick. Had he not gotten sick, we wouldn't have had to go through IVF. And had we not gone through IVF, I wouldn't have been able to guide this family through this process. He's so creative. What does one say to the woman who has made our family complete? To the one who's given us all that we ever dreamed of? Simply put, Carrie, God used you to make me a mother. Thank you. Happy Mother's Day. Love, Sarah.